How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Manchester United press conference. I understand that for the next couple weeks, this is a crucial time for the Red Devils. I am the manager of the Red Devils. My name is Skillsy. If you don't know about me, I would like to introduce myself to you now. With that being said, I'm going to be taking questions about the upcoming weeks. Stoke City is up next, the fifth best defense in the BPL, and we must go to their stadium. That's going to be difficult. Then following that game, we take on the team that is in first place, the London side, Chelsea, the great Mourinho. We must win. That game's going to be difficult. And then after that, we have the transfer window where we are going to be making massive moves. So yes, there is a lot going on right now, and I'm going to be taking questions about these three topics. Who wants to go first? Abdul. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Abdul. What, how, how can I help you? Hello, sir. Skills. It's me again, Abdul. How do you do? I have Good. a question for you that my readers want to know. Why? Why is it you keep on insisting on Ibra or on Ronaldo, yet you look at no other players for the squad or for the clubs or... or I don't understand. I think maybe you racist against the Brazilians. Neymar, one of the best players in the world, and yet you only think about Ibras or 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 or, or now. Are you racist towards the Brazilian because you are Portuguese? Please explain. My readers want to know. I want to know. Explain your logic because you make no sense most times. I don't even know how to respond to this, Abdul. I respect you as a journalist, but to call me racist, it's logically smart because the players I'm going after are older. Ronaldo, 30, Ibra, very older as a, as a footballer, old and, and great players still and players that I could see leaving PSG as we received the phone call. Cristiano Ronaldo having problems at Real Madrid, uh, once out possibly, that's why. Neymar is amazing. Taking Neymar from Barcelona will be very difficult. It, it's like taking a plate of food away from me. It's not gonna happen. Will I attempt to get Neymar? Of course. M Neymar to Manchester United? I would love that. I would want that. I, that would be one of, Neymar to me is amazing. Racist, are you kidding me? This guy's amazing. I see this guy winning many Ballon d'Ors throughout his career, but I don't think it's possible to pull him from Barcelona. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna take more, no, you know what? I'm not taking no more questions. Calling me racist? What kind of disrespect is that? You know what, you know what? I don't understand how you journalists get your papers. I read an article today about Cristiano Ronaldo possibly being gay. What, what is this? What, why are you Why are you reporting this? Why does that matter in football? I don't even understand. Like, I'm, I'm legit done. I don't care. I'm done. This, this press conference is over. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for coming out. I have a job to do. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. So there you have it, Booyah Nation. I'm going after the big boy, Neymar Zito. That's what I like to call him. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I was one of the people that actually thought Neymar wouldn't do well in Europe. Let me just get that out the way. When he was in the Brazilian League, dominating the Brazilian League, I thought he just had a lot of hype and he would flop when he got to the European stage. But the dude has turned up and he is definitely becoming one of my favorite players in the world very quickly. And that's why I want him in this career mode. I definitely would love to sign Neymar. If we can't pick up Ronaldo, I'm going after the big man Neymar. Now, we have Stoke City. Then we got a massive game against Chelsea. And then it's the transfer window. So before you know it, we're going to be making signings. But first, we must win the Stoke City game. And then we got to beat Chelsea. Why? Because at the moment, we are leveled on points with Chelsea we have done amazing things to get the Red Devils back where they belong in the BPL and it is time for us to take first place so it's time to beat Stoke City then beat Chelsea let's go before we do it if you want ultimate team coins utcointraders.com link in the description down below and with that being said Booyah Nation if you're enjoying this Manchester United career mode smash a big thumbs up we're about midway man next episode the window opens midway through the season so for this game against Stoke Stoke City, you know we're keeping it on legendary. I'm going with the pie, Anthony and Bale up top as my front three. Then Yuri, Snyderlin, and Swine Steiger will be my midfield. And we got Smalling, Ramos as our center backs. And you know what? I got to make sure I have my man Juan Mata as a substitute because he's a beast. And I'm really, really trying to get him involved. And he's going to play a big part in the Chelsea game. I'm saving them for the Chelsea game. Best defense in the league, Manchester United, then Man City, then Chelsea, then Swansea City, and then Stoke City. And guess what? That's the team we're playing, Stoke City. Can we break their amazing defense down and find a couple goals? I swing it right away to Anthony, and I see Gareth Bale, and Gareth Bale breaks through already. Gareth Bale, a beautiful save from Butland. 
Did I say his name right? Butland? I think I said it right. Butland. Good passing. That's a beautiful through pass. Sergio Ramos needs to come up big right here. Sergio Ramos. The shot. Oh, my days. It almost troubled De Gea. Anthony. Nice heel to heel. Anthony's still with it. He cuts back. Anthony's still on. I see Gareth Bale outside the box. I think I might try to find him. I'm not going to be able to. I find Schweinsteiger. Oh, my gosh. I thought it was in the back of the net. Swiney with a good attempt. This could be very fat. Here's Shakiri. A great player. Sergio Ramos jumps into it. De Gea. A big boy save from De Gea. Bohan touches it. And Bohan shouldn't have touched it because it was going to be a corner. Thank goodness he touched that. Gareth Bale. I swing it to Anthony. Yori with a 1-2. I'm waiting for the overlap of dreams. It's Snyderlin, the Frenchman. Snyderlin. Oh, it's Snyderlin. The French connection is real. Everybody calm down. The booyah. The French connection. OP. Bale to Anthony. Over to Snyderlin. Nice move. And look at Snyderlin finish. Actually, I thought it was Anthony who got an assist. It wasn't. It's my big boy, Yori. Playing Snyderlin in my midfield, coming up big. Great defense, it falls to Gareth Bale. Memphis to Pie, sending it out, out wide to Yori. Now towards Anthony, goes to the Pie instead. Yori keeps making that run. Out over the top and towards Yori. Yori, Yori into Gareth Bale. The sweat of dreams is 2 0. You might say skills, that's a sweaty. Stoke City, the fifth best defense in the league. I'm gonna take sweaty attempts, Anthony. In towards the pie. Oh, that's Yuri. Just kidding. Yuri gets his second assist. Gareth Bale gets another goal in the BPL, pretty much making him the top scorer in the BPL. FLI, don't let him score. Don't let him score. Good through pass. Don't let him score. What a goal. What a goal. I'm not even mad at it. I'm not mad at De Gea. Wow, yo, the top goal, the top defense in the BPL, Manchester United gets beat right here. What a banging finish, boys. Oh, God, the veteran loses out on it. This could be super dangerous. Afalai steps inside. De Gea with a big boy save. The Spanish man keeping us alive. Shakiri keeps it in. And it's halftime. We almost blew it. We almost gave it away. We almost went into halftime 2-2. Two, two. We still with it. I see Gareth Bale. I go to him. Gareth Bale cuts inside. I see Memphis Depay. Why not go to him? A bad first touch. Memphis Depay having a season to forget. Let's just be honest, man. Memphis Depay not getting it done. Pato into Barkley. We got room. We got space. We got room. We got space. Barkley to the back post. Gareth Bale's there. The header's terrible. Juan Mata. Adam steals it. Snyderlin trying to stop it. Snyderlin, Snyderlin, Snyderlin. Ball into the middle. Snyderlin couldn't defend it. De Gea is a beast. 88th minute. What a freaking save by De Gea. This could be dangerous, man. The goalkeeper's up. Everyone's up. Ball into the middle. Barkley defends it well. Alexandru Patu on his feet still. I send it up to Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale waits for Schweinsteiger. I see Gareth Bale. I'm going to send it back to him. It's open. The net is open, but I'm afraid to take it from this angle. I finesse. Finesse. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't work out. We win regardless. Ladies and gentlemen, a big boy win. We're legit playing Chelsea at home just a few days after beating Stoke City. We barely get a break, which means fitness is going to be a disaster. But look at the table. 18 games played. And we are at on the top of the BPL. The Red Devils are back, my dudes. And with a win today, we can start taking off. No Valdez. I'm going to think that he's not going to get a red card. Lingard starting. Wilson Bale. Mata Herrera. Snyderlin. I'm not changing Smalling and Sergio Ramos. They're too freaking important to me. Legendary v. Chelsea. Let's go, baby. We need this big boy victory. Whew, my voice is shot, man. Holy moly. Yo, I really need Neymar, man, because I am not getting it done with Memphis Depay. Yo, I'ma be honest. I need Neymar, Ronaldo, something. Memphis Depay. I know he's a great player, young stud, man, but he just hasn't gotten it going for me. That's incredible, right? Falcao. Oh my days, he starts off well. Smalling's gonna defend that easily. Nice job, but oh, what a bad pass. What a bad pass. As a pass, he doesn't take it. Sergio Ramos. What, a, what the hell did Sergio Ramos just do? Here's Ramirez. Up top. Willian. What a save by the keeper. F Fabregas is on it. We're getting attacked, man. Here's Pedro. The team from London coming out. Balls deep. Baba. Ball into the middle. We stop that. I missed clear it. Ramirez almost scored. Swiney. Snyderlin. As I was banging. Oh. Ref, ref, pen. Pen. 
Ah, yo, there was contact after the play, ref. You better watch it. They throwing elbows, man. <laughs> Pedro, maybe I should have dropped his ass. Pedro. Oh, God, it's Pedro. Smalling. Oh, baby. Willian. Lingard does a foul on Willian. I think this could be a red card. I literally think this could be a red card. Oh, my goodness, it is. And this is why you don't start young players. And this is why you don't bring somebody like Jesse Lingard to a massive game like this. I think I see a pass. I do. It's Herrera. Mata. One, two, and like a boss. I think I see Herrera. It's a good play. Herrera. Another young player. I started Wilson, Herrera, and Lingard. A lot of young players. And I think we're showing it. A red card already. A big attempt there for Herrera. He misses. Gets by Smalling. Good defense. Another great pass. Pedro. What a save. Luke Shaw. What a fucking goal, man. Oh, my God. Yo, Faba the guys just scored a bike, man. Faba the guys pretty much just scored a, a freaking bicycle, man. Faba the guys just pretty much scored a bicycle, my dudes. Man, that is so tough to deal with. A silly red card, and now, oh, Faba the guys. It's not really a bicycle kick. It's kind of like a sidekick, but still Pedro. Smalling, Gadi. Oh, God, that's a great ball back post. That's a great ball back. Oh, my days. That's a cheeky goal, man. We're losing two now. Bad managing. I didn't rest players in a game against Stoke City. I come out with young players, and I throw I throw it away. I throw I throw an opportunity to beat. Look at Falcao. He, he broke through my defense again. Yo, just bad managing. Yo, literally. Oh, De Gea, Willian, 3-0. Bad coaching, man. Bad coaching, a red card. There it is, man. Game over. Yo, legit. Poor managing. Poor managing. I didn't rest players against Stoke City. I show up, and I'm not saying Herrera and Lingard and, and Wilson are bad players. They're fantastic players. But to start such young players in a game like this, in a game that we had to win, in a game that we had to beast and feast, to get an early red card, to miss an attempt early on, it's tough, man. And we got dominated and obviously playing with 10 men against a Chelsea, a strong Chelsea team. A Chelsea team that brought Hazard and Diego Costa off the bench. Of course, we're going to get dominated, man. So it sucks. It's a swall pill, pill to swallow because it's my fault. I messed it up. We got first place on Legendary. I felt good about it. And then I went and blew it. So how does the table stand? Well, we're no longer going to be in first place, I don't believe. I'm going to check real quick and show you guys what position we're in. But the transfer window is here, boys. So we started the episode in second place. Now we're in third place, but we're only one point back, okay? We're one point away from City, one point away from Chelsea. That's not a big deal. Let's just keep it going. I know I, know I was like... I'm going to be in the hot seat, obviously. A manager of Manchester United losing 3-0 to Chelsea. I'm in the hot seat. I went from being the best to being in the hot seat. That's just the way football is, man. Anyways, man, yo, transfer window opens up in the next episode. That means y'all need to flood the comments with who you want me to sign. Neymar, Ronaldo, who do you want me to go for? And sh should we sell Memphis the pie to bring in someone like Ronaldo or Neymar. I need to know. Memphis Depay not getting it done. Let me know. Smash a thumbs up and subscribe. A big loss to Chelsea. That's how the season goes. You win some, you lose some. Legendary's a bitch, man. It's only our second loss of the season. I'll see y'all soon, Booya Nation. Y'all be safe. Uh, you know I was up. Just, just game planning. I'm going to take some questions from you guys right now. Uh, but just an update real quick. Gareth Bale did hurt his ankle a little bit in practice, but he's walking on it fine. He's okay. He's going to be playing this weekend um so he, he's looking really good yes De Gea also hurt a rib uh 